standing in front of the statue of Andreas Bonifacio uh, in Bonifacio Global City, which is the GC. Um, this is a very modern city, nothing like what you would think uh, Manila is. Um, we might go for a, a bit of a wander around and have a look. Now the last time I was here was uh, about 2016 and none of this was here at all. It's, uh, it's all sprung up in the last six, seven years and it's quite impressive. Like a lot of big buildings, it's very, very modern in, it, in its approach. Lots of construction going on as well, everywhere. A uh, very rich area as well. It's the, uh, the shopping centers here are all high end. Good to pass through. I will say this, a lot of the Filipinos, they just do come for the air conditioning. But that's, that's to be expected. Bar Street, all bars up through that area. Go for a walk up through here. See, it's called Uptown Parade. It's uh, a lot of restaurants, bars, all that sort of thing. Coming up to about 5.30, so a lot of the, the restaurants are starting to open. No other nightclubs yet. This is a big nightclub here. Another one here, Zylo. The night is just kicking off. the Uptown Mall. This is a very high-end shopping centre, shopping precinct. Over about six levels. Got quite an impressive uh, waterfall out the front as well. Let's go across and have a look. have other people vlogging as well so but yes this it's not playing right now but this uh, has a music to it and all the all the waterfall goes to the music it's got fire shooting fire out of here as well we'll see if we can capture that soon
Now the only downside to this is when they built this they have moved out a lot of people that were living here squatting. Uh, I'll put in some film of something I took yesterday where the, it's starting to encroach back in. There's uh, buildings being made right next to housing settlements a bit further out to the outskirts of, of this area. But they've made way for a very modern modern city. walking through the back of the Uptown Parade. There's a few more nightclubs out the back here. More shopping, restaurants. What's this look like? The Johnny Walker nightclub. Okay. Or if this has been sponsored or whether that's the actual name of the I oh don't know, there we go, it's called the island. You come for a walk down here the other night and uh, I'll say this, it's it's a little dodgy. It's a lot of uh, ladies of the night as you would say just because uh, out the front, this one here is called the Brewery. Another nightclub. Another one next to it, Re Revel. Yes, a lot of no ladies of the night. As we can see, people with a bit of cash. Bad Lamborghini. I'd have it. I'd take it. There's another nightclub on this corner here. I'm not, I don't remember what this one was called. this one called it's called yes please probably aptly named now this is a good example of what I was speaking about I'm just on a empty block here this would be ready for a new high-rise to be going in soon we're actually staying in this hotel here this first one this is uh, the Uptown Residence. We're on the 31st floor. It's a B and B. Cost uh, about $350 for three nights. Not too bad. I'll take you through a walkthrough a little bit later. And all these other ones across here. These are all apartments as well. We've got the big Chase Building here. This is a big uh, stock exchange. I think that's what it is. JP Morgan Chase. So a lot of the workers come down and it's a smoking area this one. So they come down here and have a bit of a smoke down here. And over there you've got the Mitsukoshi Mall. It's a real uh, Japanese mall. It's from uh, built by the Japanese and really everything in there is Japanese shops. You won't find anything else very very high end as you can see these are just starting to open the yes please has just turned its lights on there's another nightclub next to it called the island one thing i have noticed here is uh, there's a distinct lack of jeepneys going through here um, I do see one coming up now, but uh, I believe that there's some new law coming in about having them to be a lot more envi environmentally friendly, because uh, 
most of them are absolute shit boxes. Um, so you don't see many in this area. I'm pretty sure that they they have to upgrade their their units. I'm not sure this one is. This one is as loud as anything. And you know what? Is that a police? I think the police might. Oh no! I thought they might have been pulling them over. But. Not too bad. But, uh, they're absolute noise machines, those things. This is what you are more likely to see and use in this area. A lot more modern buses. Alright, you just walk and they stop for you. We might go for a walk down to the Mitsukoshi Mall. Let's have a bit of a look at that. I'm not sure whether you're even allowed to film in there. I think that they, on the front there, they said that there's no filming. It might be because a lot of people come in to do sort of Instagram posts and stuff like that in there. This is the JP Morgan Tower. Looks like a hotel, but it's not. It's a business, business area. Van there. That's us. So there's the statue we looked at right at the start. It's the Bonifacio March, Andreas Bonifacio. He's a bit of a legend here. I believe it was through the independence of the Philippines. So this is the Mitsukoshi Mall. Pretty big, they're still building. They've got one tower completed in the middle, or two towers. They've got one that's in construction out the front here. That's uh, to see that right across from our, from our balcony on the 31st floor. We're sitting just above that. Now I think I've gone the wrong way. I reckon I'll probably don't know how I'm gonna cross the street. Might have to go back to the lights. I think we'll just cross straight across the middle. Let's go. There's us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We 
may not be able to film in here just because I believe that there's music so if that happens I will uh, I'll see what sort of footage I can get I have to get through security okay here we are we're in another shopping center These ones are the other buildings that next to ours, there's the Uptown Park Suites. They're pretty much the same. They're all owned by the same same company. But yes, if you're in Manila, um, this is the modern Manila. These are springing up all over the place. There's a lot of investment happening uh, in this city. I believe that there's another red, uh, another city being built uh, coming very soon. It's a bit of a way from here, but um, same sort of thing. You're going to move out all the the slums and uh, build a modern city. If you're in the malls, this is the Uptown Mall and the Mitsukoshi and not the only two that are in this area. We've got Market Market and SMora. They're about a 10 minute, 10 minute walk away. Very easy to get to. And Market Market's a little bit more my style, a little bit more uh, for the homely people. Um, not high end. SMora is probably in the middle of Mitsukoshi and Market Market. Restaurants, bars, nightclubs, shopping centres, it's all here. Bonifacio Global City. Uh, it's the modern Manila. This is what it is. Bonifacio Global City is located about, about five or six kilometres from the centre of Metro Manila. Uh, it's right near Makati as well, which was the first area of Manila to be done up as a modern city. And I think this has definitely overtaken it. It's, uh, it's very modern. It's a lot like any other western city you would see. Um, but it's pretty close to an area called Pateros. Pateros is a what you would call a, a bit of a, a bit of a slum. Now who knows whether that's going to be taken over as a as one of the new cities because it's pretty close. The land there would be worth a lot of money being this close to to Bonifacio. So we might see that happen. Okay, so this is where we're staying. I'm pretty sure I got stuffed it up at the start there. It's actually called the Uptown Palazzo and it's the Uptown Park Suites 2. It's Tower 2. So we might go for a bit of a walk through there and go up to the room. One thing I have noticed is it's got a lot, got a lot of luggage. It's very difficult because there is stairs all the way up.
think you said? can have dogs here, any pets, as long as you take care of them and they don't destroy the furniture. That's what it says on the, on the list of instructions. Okay, here we are. Little studio apartment. Put the kitchen in here, wherever the light is. There we go. Little stove top. There are some lock cupboards here though, because this is someone's house. So you do get uh, all the plates. You can do cooking. There's a rice cooker there, fridge. With a few beers in there. Washing machine, that's been very handy. Get up to date with all your washing of your clothes. Come through here, forgive all the all of our crap lying around, five weeks worth of crap. There's the bed. TV. I'll take you out onto the balcony as well. Probably the worst blind in the world. So, I'm not sure what you can see here. Is there a light in here? There we go. So, a little table and chairs. And we're up high. Okay, so there's the Mitsukoshi Mall down there. And this was the tower I was talking about here. I'm not sure whether you can see it very well in the dark here. But there's one still under construction. This one looks as though it's finished, but it's, uh, I don't think it's got anybody in there yet. They may be just fitting out the interior. Uh, and probably the same with the other one there. There's no lights on in any of these. But yeah, it's a long way up. I've seen this. I wonder how many people would like to walk along this. If you're into thrills, that could be your thing. But yeah, great view of the city. There is buildings in the way. But down into here, this is Pateros down in here. So we could see this city easily push out into that area. Okay, we might go and have a look at the bathroom. Okay, bathroom. Here we go. Quite small. Shower, which is good. Not having to have a bucket shower anymore. Uh, water pressure is not that great. It's one of these ones where you have to lift the little knob and it doesn't get that hot. Yet again, that's probably pretty good because you don't really want a hot shower here. Toilet as well. Um, it's a lot like the toilet in the airport. You can't flush your, flush your, uh, your toilet paper down there. Okay, no trash, no toilet paper. You're meant to put your toilet paper in the bin. Don't know about that. So yes, so you use the little squirter to clean what shouldn't be there. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, to be accurate, this cost 12,859 pesos for three nights. So, what's that? That is 4,286 a night, probably about 4,300 per night, which is not too bad, not too bad for what you get. It's um it's modern, has everything that you need.
probably only for two people. If you have kids in here, there is a little sofa here, but uh, I'm sure that would be as hard as a rock. But yeah, I give it uh, a thumbs up. I do like it. But like any B&B, there's a few rules that you have to go through. Now, you have to keep this clean. Uh, it's your responsibility. You get four towels when you start here. They don't come and make your bed. They don't do any of that other stuff. So it's, um, it's up to you. So there's no smoking. Uh, you can have pets. So you, it just says here, do not let them destroy the furniture or things inside the unit. Keep it clean. Turn all the appliances off. All of it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, checkout is at 11 a.m. and you've got to leave the keys in the mail room. Okay, so there's a mailbox uh, that you leave the keys in when you leave. It's that simple. And look, you even get thongs. If you like this video, please subscribe, drop me a comment, hit the bell, do all that jazz. I know it's an upcoming. Uh, channel trying to get it off the, off the ground but um, I don't know I'm not that good at it so far but you know it will improve with uh, more subscribers and the more of these videos that I do do so thank you thank you for watching <laughs>